Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to use menu control using web.sitemap. See here we got the final output after adding the style sheets to the menu control. Page 1, page 2, page 3, home page. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new project. Go to File, New, Project. And I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1. The application name is Create Menu. Click OK. I'm selecting the empty template. Okay. And the project is created successfully. Go to Solution Explorer. I'm creating a master page and some content pages in this project. Right click the project name. Add new item. web forms web form master page and the master page name is main master add and here we got the master page let's create a content pages solution explorer right click the project folder add new item i'm selecting web form with master page home add I'm selecting main master okay h1 this is home page I'm deleting the content page content one as well as the header content let's create some more content pages solution explorer create menu add new item web form with master page page one add main.master click ok this is page one I'm creating the content page 2 web form with the master page page 2.aspx add main.master click ok this is page 2 Let's create a last content page. Solution Explorer. Right click the project name. Add new item. Web form with the master page. Page 3.aspx. Add main.master. OK. H2. This is page 3. After creating a master page and content pages for this newly created project, switch to the main.master page. Now inside this form tag, I'm adding sitemap data source. Go to toolbox, come to the bottom, I'm expanding the data folder, sitemap data source, click that one. And here we got the sitemap data source. After that, I'm adding a menu control. Go to toolbox. I'm expanding the navigation folder. Menu control. Now in this menu control, I'm adding the properties. 
data source id is equals to the sitemap data source 1 and I am adding the orientation which is horizontal so the menu will be the horizontal dynamic menu menu style fund bold is equals to true static sub menu indent 10 pixels so after adding some properties into this menu control now I am adding the property in this sitemap data source show starting node is equals to false after that let's add the web.sitemap page into this project open solution explorer right click the project name add new item click web here the sitemap click that one web.sitemap I'm not changing the name of the web.sitemap I'm adding to the my project and here we got the web.sitemap and notice in this web.sitemap we have a sitemap node where we can add our menu hyperlinks in the first sitemap node the title is menu I'm not adding any URL for the first sitemap node the reason we have set the property show starting node is equals to false for the sitemap data source so this sitemap node will be the invisible after that the second sitemap node which is our home page the title is home and the url home.aspx this page after that i am creating the second sitemap node the title is page 1 the URL is the page1.aspx page1.aspx I am closing the sitemap here now in this sitemap I am creating the submenu for this page 1 sitemap node URL is equals to the submenu is a page 2 dot ASPX title is page 2 and after that now inside this page 2 I am creating a submenu for this page 2 sitemap node url is equals to I am adding page 3 dot aspx title page 3 I am closing the sitemap node so we have added the home page 1 page 2 and page 3 into this web dot sitemap let's switch to the main dot master go to properties notice in this properties the fourth one is events click that one and the first option behavior there is a menu item data bound double click that one and here we got an event menu item data bound now let's write some coding part here if sitemap dot current node is not equals to null if e dot item dot text double equals to sitemap dot current node dot title if e dot item dot parent is not equals to null E dot item dot parent dot selected is equals to true. 
else e dot item dot selector is equal to two. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's check the output on the browser. This menu control is working or not? Home dot aspx page, Google Chrome. Home page and here we got the output page one so this is a page one and sub menu is a page two page three home page uh, let's add some styles to this menu control switch to the asp.net coding part and stop debugging switch to main.master in the header section, I'm adding style tag. And now in this style sheet, I'm adding classes, main menu, background color is black, text align, center, font size, 20 pixels color is white padding 20 pixels margin left 30 pixels let's add this main menu class into this menu control level menu item styles ASP menu item style CSS class is equals to main menu the next one I'm creating for the sub menu main menu item class CSS class is equals to let's create a class for this sub menus dot sub menu Let's copy this and paste in here dot sub menu one and paste in here. Copy this one and paste in here. I have another sub menu for the page two, so I'm creating for the style sheet. So I'm adding style sheets for the submenu one. Let's add do container. Copy this one. Class is equals to dot do one. background color is black height auto width auto border radius 5 pixels let's add this div1 is here in the div container let's check the output after adding some styles to this menu control and rerun the browser see here we got the final output after adding the style sheets to the menu control page 1 page 2 page 3 home page that's it.